what's up what's going on guys let's talk tomorrow slate that is thursday wait a minute thursday and we have like a nine game slate yes because i believe it's the last slate till the all-star game and then we start again next week so i'm welcoming this break man uh, it's good to have a break like that so i can get some work done uh, at the house uh, so i'm really glad uh, to have uh, the break i'm not playing any other sports so i'm just gonna be relaxing and waiting for basketball to come back but let's check out my lineup see how they are doing so uh right now that's my best lineup right now so you know what's killing me today is the fact that I have played some of those cheap guys from Toronto when I should have played the cheap guys from Detroit. That's really really hurt. But uh, Bronson was I was disappointed in Bronson. Okay, I wasn't I was a little I wasn't really high on Bronson like I was in Denny Shorter or Denny Smith or even MCW, but I still had enough where he gonna end up mess me up because as you can see those two line up which are my best to line up right now and both of them have Bunsen on it and then shorter all right uh and both of them also was just then pattern as my scent so uh when i saw the news that he wasn't starting i was thinking of taking him out but i'm like you know something Let's just see what happened. But he ended up giving me 38.2, so that was good. Uh, very disappointed in Pozangis, though. Uh, Boucher did okay. And Graham, very disappointed. Uh, J. Rich, it was a blowout for both Pozangis and J. Rich. So J. Rich, J. Rich did okay. Uh, Pozangis, on the other hand, had a bad first half. Uh, did okay in the third quarter, but didn't have to play in the fourth quarter. But Oladipo 58.9, he did his thing though. So definitely Oladipo did his thing here. And I'm hoping somehow I didn't show they can get to uh, 40 plus here. So that's what I'm hoping here. Uh, anyway, so let's continue with the slate, with the night game slate. And let's start with the point guard position. Okay. Okay, so it's a night game slate. We have to run to again in the slate. So we're going to have to wait. I think we're going to have the same guys out again. Uh, Boucher didn't get a start. And I can see the same here because of especially, uh, I can see, what they should, I think they should start both Boucher and the other center. Uh, what is his name? Uh, Benz, 4K. I think they should start both. I do like Benz, by the way. So let's start the point guard here. Uh, Lillard. On the back to back, carry on the back to back, 9.9k. Just like I said, I don't think you're gonna need a 10k player on the point guard position to be one of the top fantasy players in the slate. I mean, as you know, I don't think you're gonna need that. While I would rather go 8.7 and below. And Westbrook, I don't mind. Out of the three, I think I like Westbrook better when it's come for Lillard, Curry, and Westbrook. But I think I want to go with a cheaper place, 8.7 and below. Kalari against Boston. I really like Lowry here. I don't. I love Fox at 8.3K. But again, I'm still trying to go even cheaper. And by cheaper, I'm talking about Jamal against Milwaukee, 7.6K. Kemba, 7K against uh, Toronto. Lonzo Ball, 6.9K. It's a back-to-back, -back, but still, Malcolm Bragdon. Uh, 6.7k so so far Malcolm back then is my favorite one here out of all those guys I already repeat uh, I don't mind Kemba but I would go Malcolm back then if Wolves is in right now it I believe he will be out because they say COVID-19 maybe they think there was something they have to check out so if he check out okay then he's playing then I will love Wolves at the, as the starter here against his old team was will be my favorite point guard so remember i told you guys that all right at the same time you have Dennis smith against his old team i love Dennis smith i do like none but today i like dragage better than none now the thing is Dennis smith or dragage 
Danny Smith has a high upside. The thing about the Knicks, the, you know, it's they have a great defensive team. They're also very slow. For that, I might like Dragic better, but it hurt me to say that because I'm happy right now, very happy for Danny Smith for what's going on. Triple double, I was happy to see that. But as it's hard right now, one of those two guys is the guy I want to give you. So remember, Dennis Smith or Dragic is the guy I want to give you guys. Also, if Rose is in, I will replace Rose with those guys. Just remember that. Oh, by the way, guys, please, please uh, drop a like in this video for me right now. Do it right now. Don't wait to do it later. All right? Thumbs up this uh, video for me. I would really appreciate it. I got to remember to say that in the beginning. All right. Uh, again, dry gauge. Uh, Reggie Jackson had a good game. Why? Of course, Kawhi Leonard kill us. I forgot to talk about that last night when I did the video. Kawhi Leonard just kill us. Kill me. Because I had a lot of Kawhi. The price was great, especially on ZK, man. I only had one lineup on ZK with my five guys I gave you. And I had Kawhi in there. And it messed me up. All right, so TJ McConnell, man. Oh, my goodness. You see what he did? <laughs> Over 70 fantasy points. I, he might not end up in the winning lineup, though, because he was less than 1%. Oh, that's good. He was less than 1%. And uh, Lee has keep doing his thing, but Lee is a no for me. I'm, I know that people are probably going to go to TJ. I'm not going to do that. I still would rather play Dragic, Dennis Smith, and even... Uh, Kendrick Nunn. Anybody else down here I would want to play? Monte Morris 4.6k. He gonna get the minutes, but he just doesn't have the upside as the other guys that can get you 50. All right. Uh, Mali done 4.2k. If you wanna go there, can go there. He had that one game. What did he go for? Where is it? 33.6. So he 37.8. That's the one. 37.8. So you know. I don't even see a player like uh, Morris have that upside. Uh, but for right now, Dragic is the guy I'm going to stay with. Uh, it's hard for me to say that because I love Dennis Smith, especially going against the Knicks. Man, I'm happy for him. My son, I know my son's probably happy too because he's been following Dennis Smith since he was in high school. All right, so let's go to uh, since Dennis Smith was in high school. Uh, Let's go to the shooting guard department. You have Bradley Bill as the most expensive guy going against the Clippers. I don't mind Bradley Bill. He's the, he can go off average fully, basically close to 50, 48.5. Uh, if you uh, round it, 10.4K, uh, the model was in 8.5. I do like the model was in. Most likely, I would rather play him here over Bill. Uh, shy 8.2K against the Spurs. I don't mind Shy. But I don't think I would want to play him because I like DeMar a little bit better. And I also love Paul George here. All right. So Paul George is the guy I'm going to go back here against Washington. Hopefully this game will be a high scoring game. Two teams that can score uh, fast. Washington is very fast. So give me some PG here at 7.9K. Other guys I like. Booker, I don't mind. Booker is uh, definitely is playing better as far as fantasy wise. Uh, I don't mind him. Buddy High, Buddy Hill is having a good game right now against whoever is playing, uh, which is the Lakers. 6.4K. As of right now, uh, I don't mind him, especially the matchup. But He's not a player I'm looking to play. I would rather play uh, Tyler Hero, to be honest, against New Orleans. Uh, Wiggins, price going down against Phoenix is a no for me. Uh, Gary Trent, 5.5K. Yes, give me some Gary Trent. Uh, Bledsoe had a bad game. I cannot play him here against because I would rather go with Gary Trent or Tyler Hero. And Melton was great last game, but I don't see that happen again. I would rather go with Brooks. And Yet, quickly, is the guy I want to play if was going to be out. Okay. Uh, and all that. Okay. This pick, you guys are not going to like it. But as point guard, oh, his price went up. Never mind. I thought he was still the minimum. 
but I might take a chance on them. If I make a team and I only have 4K left, 4.5K, no, 4K left or 4.1K left and below, if I have to get a point guard, then he will be the guy I play. All right, let's go to the, uh, I think that's basically it for shooting guard. I see anybody down there that I like. DV, no. Alec Burke, yes, I got to play Alec Burke. Terrence Davis, price went up, so it's a no for me. Uh, Ellington, it's a no. He went up, but that's a no for me. Uh, especially if uh, uh, their power forward come back with small forward mostly. If he comes back, I'm talking about Grant. I believe he might come back. If that's the case, then definitely no. Unless if they want them to come back and play after the All-Star break. All right, let's jump to the small forward position here. Kawhi 9.7K. 7 o'clock game. Please give us the news before the game lag. That's all we're asking for. But if he's in, I love Kawhi. One of my favorite players at the position. But I cannot take that chance, so I'm not going to give you guys Kawhi. Because there are other players I do like. If Butler play, I like Butler. Jalen Brown, I don't mind Jalen Brown. And Graham. It's a no for me. Why? Because of midi, because of power, and Bonds, Michael Porter. Those four guys are my favorite four players at the position. Porter, Bonds, Norman Powell, Chris Middleton. Those are my four favorite players at the position, even though I like some of the guys on top. I'm going to go with midi here, uh, even though I want to go with power, but I'm going to go with midi here. Since power price went up a little bit, so give me me the at 7.5k. Uh, I don't really need to talk about anybody else. Me personally, I might not play anybody else. The only other two people I might put on my player pool will be Michael Bridges and Will Barton. Anybody else is a no for me. That doesn't mean they're not gonna have a good game, it just me choose not to. So the Bay Page is pointed, it can come back even they can see. Seem like the Knicks can have a good game, but me personally, I won't play him. Uh, Kent Bazemore, if you're gonna get the start, then I might take a chance there if I need somebody around that point. But that's basically it. Power forward Giannis on top. I like Giannis here, expect him to bounce back here. It was a blowout, that's why he only had less than 50 fantasy points. You probably see that three times in the entire season, so that was one of them. I think that's like his second or third one already. But I do like Giannis here. I do like Quento. Uh, Sabonis has been struggling since he named the All-Star. Uh, so, but the price is good though. It's against Denver. It doesn't matter. Denver defense. I mean, joke. I mean, big man doesn't play defense. The Joker doesn't really play defense. So, Tatum. I guess you guys know how I feel. So I'll pass on Tatum. I do rather go with Zion here over Tatum. Sometimes I want the high average for the two. Yeah. It feels like it should be average less. I do like Jovan Green events against Phoenix at 7.6k. If Jeremy Grant play against the Knicks, I can't see me take a chance. I do like Bagley even at 6.8k. I got to watch his minute today. I like Boucher again. You're going to need him. Uh, Ibaka is enough for me. Covington playing good again. Clark 5.5k, I don't mind him. Um, anybody ties 4.9k, it look like his price is always 4.9k. Trillows 4.7k, I don't mind playing Trillows here, especially if uh, Aldridge is going to be missing this game. I know the price went up, but I still don't mind playing him. Uh, Sarge, man, he had a great game the other day 26 minutes, 32 minutes. It looks like he's getting back to play his usual minutes. So, if you want to go there, you can go, but I'm going to try to stay uh, above that point. I do like ties, though. And uh, Covington against the Kings, I don't mind. Boucher is one of my favorite. Bagley, Jovan Green, Zion, Spony, Swendo. I like all those guys. I want to go, but I think tomorrow is one of those days where you don't have I mean, you don't really have to go expensive like that. You can just level your lineup. I know um, 
go uh, mid-range in price rather than... I mean, of course, one of those expenses that could end up... But I think tomorrow is one of those days where you're going to only need one of those guys. All right? So for power forward, I'm going to go right now. Zion is the guy I'm looking at. Let me check my notes real quick. Okay, so, yeah, I checked my notes. The guy I had is Rando, and I'm sticking with Rando at 9.3K against Detroit. Should be able to do his thing there, especially if he's going to be out. But regardless if he was his hand, I see like Rando. I'm not going to make the cha no change. Center. Center, on the other hand, whew. Yes, we do have Joe Cage, but he's 11.6K going against Andy. They, Andy is a little bit different. All right, they do have two big guys, at least two big guys that can at least, nobody can really slow him down, but better than the other teams. Yes, I do like Joe Cage, but that price to me, I feel like he's not going to be on the winning lineup on FD. In, on DK, maybe, but on FD, I feel like no, so I have to look for the prices, and I'm looking at Jonas, Valentine Jonas at 6.8K. Uh, Holmes price went up, but it, they play in Portland. Okay, but Valentine 6.8K, I think I like him a little bit better than Holmes. Kente, 6.6K, I was hoping his price is down, but still, I do like him going against the Kings too. Marston is 6.5K, I don't mind going there, but I'm looking at Plumlee here. If somehow we get the news that you know his power forward is gonna be out, then I like him here. Oh, by the way, I didn't talk about Bam. I know Bam had a bad game, but I do like Bam here, by the way. If Grant gonna be out, then Plumley is the guy I want to play. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Plumley here. Also, I do like me some part of here. His price went up, but I don't mind him at that price, especially if Aldridge is out. Offord, I expect him to be out. Adams, who knows? He might have a good game, but right now I'm not looking to play him. Oh, okay. I'm going to make that change. I didn't realize they moved Nolan Snow to the center position. I do like Plum. For right now, I'm going to put no, Nerland Snowell, but I do want to put Plumley if Grant gonna be out. All right, so remember that, guys. If Grant is out, Plumley is the guy I'm gonna switch to. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put Noel here at the center position. Well, I bet William has been doing his thing, but he's between those two guys, so it's hard for me to play him here. So, those my five guys for FD is Dragage, Paul George, Chris Middleton, Julius Randle. And New Orleans Noels against Detroit. Okay, again, guys, I will make that change if Grant is out. All right, uh, I was enjoying New Orleans Noel at the power forward position, but now they put him in center. I'm gonna take the chance on him, but I could make that switch. Now, let's move to the DK. DK to me, it's, whew, it's not that easy, but on DK, guys, let's see. On DK, Okay, let's see what's going on. Uh, five players for DK are Smith Jr. His his price went down 4.8k because you know uh, it was 4.9. Brooks 5.5k. Brooks things I could possibly make that changes. Wait, I went with Justin Holiday here. That's definitely a mistake. Uh, wait a minute. That's okay, guys. So let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Center is Jokic 10.9k. All right, I'm going to go with Joe Cage here. At, for small forward, let's go back. Let me go back and let's see Noel. 5.6K. So I do like Noel here at that price. Let's go to uh, small forward. RG6K. He most likely going to get the minutes. Uh, he played 20 minutes. He wasn't as good. The person that's supposed to be there was Barton. All right. So, uh, actually, I actually like uh, Bridges better. So, I'm going to make the chance to Bridges. And shooting guard for right now, I'm gonna, I have books. But I like Hero better than books. The price is different, but I do like Hero better. Uh, Walker price is a little bit too high. Let's see at the small forward. Wait, that's shooting guard. That's the small forward. 
what position is bridges let's see bridges is a small forward so small forward shooting guard five and cent PJ Dozy. I'm gonna go with Dozy here as the shooting guard because I wanna give you guys a cheap guy here. Uh, let me check Dozy price on FD real quick. I didn't talk about him, but he will be on my cheap list on TikTok, so look out for it. But I do like Dozy too. All right. But that basically it, guys. Uh, Smith Jr., Dozy, Dozy, Bridges, Trillows, and Jokic. Also here, if you wanna. Do you want to play jokers you can put nowhere but i'll give you guys a lot of cheap plays where you guys basically can play another star if you choose to uh, when i'm looking at the star giannis would be my favorite out of everybody here uh, i do like uh, rando at that even at 19.6k uh, on the 10k then he would be Kawhi leonard would be my guy here all right so if Kawhi would be my guy and then find the other player but that basically it guys i appreciate you guys thank you for the support subscribe turn on your bell notification and make sure you guys drop a like in this video i'm out